Good morning YouTube friends, I'm Jackie. Welcome to Gone Potty Gardening. Today I'm in the polytunnel. As you can probably hear, it's quite a windy day, but it's not raining. We've had several weeks of terrible rain, so that's due to lack of videos really. But today I'm gonna to crack on in this polytunnel and get a few good jobs done. So I wanna take you with me. As some of you may already know, um, on April the 6th of April, that's it, we're getting another polytunnel delivered, which is a, a polycarbonate one. Um, we're going to have that situated over where the raspberry area is, so I'm going to have to be moving them. So that'll be another job, which I will get done. Um, we're looking forward to that. In that polytunnel, we'll be growing more um, tomatoes and things like that. I mean, I haven't utilize this other polytunnel to its full use but the thing being is that half of it I use for potting on and seedlings and stuff like that so today I'm going to be making a few more beds in here and what I hope to do is grow some more things like I'm going to try bush beans in here and different things like that and also I've got some of these I'll show you these are called um, what they called my castle. Um, these were grown from seed last year. The trouble is with here, um, when you put these out when they're too young, they get um, eaten by the slugs. So what I want to do is put some of these in the polytunnel in big tubs and bring a bit of colour to in here as well. But I've also got seeds left over from these to plant outside. So that would be some of the things that I'll be doing today. I'll turn you around and let you look at the polytunnel and it is in an upside down state at the moment because it's I'm having a makeover, a polytunnel makeover really. But I'll show you what, what's happening, I'll show you. Okay, so here we are. All this pile of um, concrete blocks I've got to take out. I had all these across here making kind of like a long shelf where I used to have some plants. But I'm going to take all those out. And I've started to make some beds out of the um, boards and taken the um, weed suppressant from underneath there. Um, <clears throat> I've got up to this bit and I've got to find a board to fit across there. Um, over this side, you can see there's this big cage. Well, I'm going to cut that in half that way. And I need to cut it a bit shorter as well, but I want to keep that um, and fix it up in here somehow for the onions to dry out. Because it's hard to get the onions dry outside with the sort of weather you have over here, really. It's a bit unpredictable. Um, I tried covering them once with a tarpaulin on that rack, but they still got damp. So I'm going to rearrange it in here and uh, I'll bring you along as I'm doing it. Sorry about the wind noise. It is quite windy. It's blowing the polytunnel quite a bit. As you can see next to there, I've got this table that's got all the onions on. Um, they need a little bit of a water, but they're just starting to come through now. I just want to give them a bit of a chance, you know, to get some good roots on them. So I've got quite a few of them along there. Um, yeah, I've got all my potting stuff at the back there. A couple of more of those um loopings that I want to put on so yeah there's quite a lot to do really it looks a tip at the moment but these are all, those sacks at the back all the potato sacks I want to flatten and uh, put them in a nice pile and uh yeah so quite a bit to do really so I think I'll start with uh potting up those loopings a couple of weeks ago we got um, a delivery of um, compost from a place in Galway. That's been delivered and I've had it covered up but there's quite a bit of water on the top but hopefully it's not got wet. So I'm going to get some of that compost and start potting up them loopings. These are those bags. Let's uh, get one of these stones off and I'll be able to show you the compost. got a little bit wet but yeah it's got a mixture of um, 
some grit. It's got all nutrients. It's it's called Grow Pro, uh, Pro Grow. That's it, Pro Grow. So we've got three bags of that, so we've got plenty. And we've got that much so that we can use some in the other polytunnel when it comes. So I'm going to get my shovel now and get some of this into the polytunnel. I've made this little shovel. Well, it's an old uh, fire um, little shovel and I've screwed it onto a little pole so it's light. So I'm going to use that and uh, bring some back in the buckets. So yeah, let's get a bit of this into that bucket. I can leave that open for a bit. It's a handy sized shovel that is. And you can tell it's nice soil. It's got a nice texture to it. There's no stones in it. Only these little tiny bits of grit for drainage, which is excellent. So, I'm going to fill this one bucket up, take it back in the polytunnel, and get them lupins potted up. The dogs are loving it out here today. It's the first day for a long time, there's been no rain. There probably will be. Now I'll leave that shovel in there because I'll need that again in a minute. Now some of you might remember from before that I had these containers. These are recycled. I cleaned them all out. And yeah, they're, they used to be old food containers, so they're very safe. So I'm using these to put those loopings in. I've drilled the holes like you know from before. So I'm gonna fill it with soil. But first off, I'm, I think I'm gonna put that inside there first. And this soil that I've just got, I'm gonna put all around the side. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Getting growing again. Um, yeah, so I'm going to see how these grow in the polytunnel. They should be fine, get lots of bees and things in here. And, uh, and I shall plant some of the other ones outside, like I say. And uh, these lupins, my castle, grow to about four foot. And I know I sent some seeds to Joyce. I don't know whether hers, um, she showed me some pictures last year and they look lovely. So hopefully these ones have come on lovely because last year like I say mine got eaten by the slugs so I'm not going to risk it this year I'm going to start them in here get them into a big plant and uh, I might even keep some in here you know like for a nice bit of colour like I say we do get lots of bees and things in here so it's no problem you know if you were interested, I don't know if anybody does or wanted to know, this compost that I got, or we got, um, it's actually from a, a place, a stone place in Galway that they do obviously uh, soil as well. And I think it worked out, if you work it out, there's about a thousand litres of soil in there. Um, which would equate to quite a few bags, wouldn't it, if you were to work it out. And they charge 70 euros. But of course you have to pay the delivery on top. But when you think of it, if you bought loads of bags, you'd have to keep carting it, wouldn't you? So I've put it in like that, so it should leave a little square bit there. And I'm hoping it'll probably all fall out the... Uh, soil but I oh know it's got some good roots look at those roots so it definitely needed uh, going into somewhere better so that's in there I'm just going to top it off and these I'm just going to put around the polytunnel you know I'm jumping from one job to the other but I will get there. I want to get these lupins potted first and put down and then what I'm going to do is start filling those beds and finishing some of the beds and uh, yeah so that should love being in there 
got some nice nutrients and all that not that plants need it as much but it makes me happy to think I've potted that on and that's going to go into a lovely beautiful plant hopefully so there you go so I'm going to carry on doing the rest of the loopings and I'll catch you in a minute when I start doing filling the beds up So as I said before, on the 4th of April we've got another polytunnel coming. I'll just show you where it's going. Sorry about the wind. So this is the area where it's going. So what I'm going to do is take all these beds up and move them right across there in a row and put all these canes down there quickly before they start sprouting. And uh, yeah, the polytunnel will go in this area. It's a four meter by two. And the good thing about it is that we want it in line with the natural rain butt. So we've got a hose on it. So we want the door to be in line with that really. So possibly yeah where I'm standing. Then that way um, everything in the polytunnel will be natural uh, rainwater and uh, yeah no no chemicals in the water at all so it'll be lovely plus we do get a lot of rain here and we'll never be short of water I'm sure <laughs> so I better get to work but first off on the end of one of the beds I've got to put a couple of brackets to stop it falling apart um, it's a bit of an awkward place for me to nail it together so I'm going to go and do that first now there's an old few bits and pieces that was in the outhouse that have gone mouldy because it's very damp there so I've got this special old fashioned knife and I always try and excuse my sniffing get it all chopped down before I cover it with soil or put another layer of um, you know hay or whatever I'm gonna my browns on top but this works well for just mushing it down a bit makes it a little bit quicker because the out outhouse is so damp the chickens have had some of this but the rest I'm going to put on here I need a bit of greens on here so yeah and then I'll add that bit of waste that I just had on that ground over there on top. So I've um, filled my pots up with those My Castle loopings. They need a bit of a water, but I'll do that in a minute. And then I've been doing the so the I've been doing the uh, soil, filling the beds up, put the wheelbarrow in, and. Uh, so I've got a bit of a way to go, but it's great. There's just something that's really uplifting and when you get outside, you get going, you start your garden. I don't know, it just it makes you feel good, happy. It's been so long in, you know, such a long winter, although it's blustery outside, it's 15 in the polytunnel, so it's lovely. Although I've gone and got my coat because out there it is very blustery. So uh, yeah, there's something, you know, it does something to your soul, doesn't it? Just being out in nature, out in that fresh air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on filling these beds and I'll show you what I've done when I've finished. I do have still some at the back there to build and I need to sort out that mess in the corner at the back there. Um, with the grills but I do want them somewhere in here but I don't want them taking up all the room but I want it somewhere where I can dry the onions and that in the dry in here so uh, but the polytunnel is um, 
an ideal place for growing extra vegetables because you get that head, head start on the season. And I've got lots of uh, dwarf beans indoors. I'm going to try some of them in here, like I said. Um, but also going to grow them outside, but particularly I want to grow some in here as well. And uh, more, um, more of a, a kind of experiment, um, still learning about growing in the polytunnel. There's a bit to learn, you know, growing undercover is different. Um, you have to treat the soil, you know, a bit different and keep it wet, you know, because it's not open to the elements. So there's lots of things to consider, but I do love it. And uh, I want to make the most of this polytunnel as well this year. And like I say, we'll be getting the other polycarbonate polytunnel at the beginning of April and hopefully I can film that for you. So I feel quite good today that I've got a bit done in here, nice and rosy cheeked in the wind. Um, there's a bit in the corner there, I'll show you in a minute, that is the hardest bit and I've left it till last. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm going to do there is I've got a, a, a big deep container, I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom, I'm going to make a bit of a ledge in that corner and stand that in there and I'm going to grow some carrots in there again i'm still growing carrots outside but i'm going to try some early ones that that soil is ideal because it's fine well draining um and it'd be perfect that's what carrots like um i'll put, I'll put um sow some seeds in it cover it with a bit of cardboard or something to keep it dark they like that to germinate although i didn't do that outside and they were still all right so uh, yeah, I'll spin you around and show you what I've got to do next. So it's all these big bricks I'm going to take outside um, and clear all this corner. There's a few bricks there, but I'm going to lay a few of them flat and sand the box on it. So uh, these are quite heavy, so I'm going to go and get the trolley to move them. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I've managed to uh, do quite a few wheelbarrow loads through here. Look, I filled that bed and the one next door, I planted all those up. At the back here, I've got to fold those bags up. That's the reason we've got a lot of soil as well. We can use the bags for potatoes. I've got to fill that back bed and then sort that messy corner out. Those pots that I planted the lupins in, I've got about another, how many is there? Five, three, four, five, six. I've got another 14 of those. So I use them for tomatoes and I'll probably do them along the middle here. I'll put the pots down the middle there, do some strings up, um, and that'd be the tomatoes. But yeah, it would be a different polytunnel when I finished. I really hope that you enjoyed being with me today, and I hope that you carry on watching the videos and enjoy them. And actually, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week everyone. Take care. Bye. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.